Good day to everyone out there in the wonderful world wide web. Uh, I've, I've, on several occasions, I, I've, you know, on, on forums and discords, I, I've run across people that'll, that'll go in here and they're editing the official files, you know, just tweaking aircraft or whatever to their liking, and that's great. And most of them are probably FSX users or, you know, free FSX whatever users i know that's how you how i remember doing it in fsx and they're not taking advantage of the great uh uh add-on system that the new microsoft flight simulator has and you can do the same thing without actually touching the original uh files so I wanted to show how simple it is and how easy it is to actually make an add-on. I'm hoping to make this a quick video, so we'll get right on to it. Let's say we want to edit this aircraft, and, and you know you know how you can get in here and you can do what you want. Maybe you're, you're messing with the, uh, you know, the uh, flight performance, so you're editing these two. Okay. You can make an add-on and put it in your community folder, which mine's empty, and it'll replace these files. This is how you would go about it. You would go right in here to your official folder where you would normally go, where you, where you're obviously already going. But anyway, I'll show. Let's go ahead and show that in game uh, to find your official packages or your community folder. The two folders I'm going to be using. You can go in here and go to General Options, Dev Mode, and turn that on. Okay, that gives you this, uh, back to the welcome screen, that gives you the, the this uh, menu, which is cool. Gives you a lot of stuff, you probably know nothing, it's okay. And then the Virtual Tools, Virtual File System. Okay, this is the actual virtual file system that the game loads. Uh, basically all the configs and and it allows scenery and sim objects being the two biggies that will that modders or, or generally that's for scenery and aircraft sim objects for your aircraft so here's how you find the official folder these are official packages and guess what we put in the community folder packages okay they're identical i mean literally they are identical to what they have here except for content obviously so say we want to make an add-on on this okay first we need an add-on folder the, the root folder of the add-on this can be anything uh your heart desires i suggest you keep it in format with them i mean it's supposed to be like creator type of aircraft name of package i don't necessarily follow that but in this case let's go ahead and do that easy mods dash uh, perf mod eh. I would have to give what kind, right? Dash NX Cub. I put that first dash in the wrong place. Dash. That's it. Okay. That is, so there. There's my mod folder. I don't know. And then in the mod folder, since this is since we're wanting to overwrite files, okay, first we'll we'll copy these two control files. Those are the two control files that every add-on package needs. And we'll just copy the ones out of any any fact. That you, you, then we'll edit edit them. Okay. Now the since we we're, we're doing a different mod, we won't need any uh We'll get rid of the dependencies just for fun. Uh, and then this, there's aircraft, scenery, it's the content type. In this case, we're just going to use miscellaneous, like for generic. 
and then this is the only title that really other than the other than the type I could have left the dependency it, it doesn't matter but other than the type this has to be a, a unique name so we'll make that uh, then here you could put easy mods here you would put your name easy rider and then you know you could update this to the most current of course we'd change this to you know package 10 or 01 or whatever you want but, but you don't have to so we're we're done there we'll save that then we'll have to fix this later we're, we're not even sure now we'll copy this exact uh, path and the reason I do that is because if you look in here in the virtual file system and we were to say in xcub you'll notice it's in sim objects airplanes asobo and xcub that's that's where the that's where this aircraft resides in the game okay so we want to recreate that exact same folder structure if you're using a you if you're using making a livery or something then you would want to recreate it but only to here In other words, in a livery, you would want this name to be different. You know, you you would maybe maybe use this exact name and then add your livery name to it. In this case, we're not going to do that because we want the files to go right here, right in the exact default location. But if I were making a livery, I would add, you know, like that. So that it goes in some, so it doesn't overwrite the default files. But in this case, we want it to overwrite the default files. So we'll leave that exact, and we're going to copy the what I say, the engines and flight model, and we'll just copy these over into our add-on, and and that's basically it. <laughs> I mean. I renamed this, so the only thing left would be to rebuild this. See all these different files that were in the default folder aren't in this, so it's it's going to bark if we try it. That's where this layout generator, and I'll leave a link for this. I, I love this. It's a great little standalone utility. Uh, where do I have it? I guess it's in Microsoft stuff. Yeah, it's a great little standalone utility, and uh, you know, you can use it uh, command line or you can just drag and drop and by that I mean you literally mouse grab the layout drag it over here and that window pops up and look it's corrected to what's actually there and it even alters and changes this for you so this is actually a working mod of course we haven't done anything so let's uh, let's change something we'll see so let's let's make 200 we'll change this is the default loadout basically and these are you know the pilot weight and stuff so let's let's change these to make it that's something we'll see uh and the reference yeah the reference speed uh cruise speed let's make it 150 that would be noticeable right <laughs> so there you go that's it and that's all you got to do you, you basically just repackage them using some unique name here some unique name here changing this to miscellaneous and and that's it and then you repackage them exactly like they would be right here this is the default package just like that and then of course the a biggie is re redoing that layout making sure the layout's right and that's it at this point this should be a, a working performance mod of course i haven't done anything real performance i've only changed enough numbers to make it visible so let's try that out and that's it if that works 
that's basically the uh, extent of this uh, video. I just want to show how easy it is to make. Now, notice I put them in here. Here's, here's the files I modded in here. So I didn't touch any of these files in the official one store or the official package. And that's why this, this add-on system is so great. I mean, you can really goof up <laughs> and recover <laughs> just by removing your add-on. I, mean, I remember reinstalling FSX over and over and over. You know, it didn't take but one one edit somewhere and, you know, you'd have to make three or four edits for each add-on sometimes. And one edit somewhere or some conflict somewhere and there was no telling. There was no way to figure it out. I mean, the, this add-on system gives us that too. You simply remove all your add-ons, add them back, you know, a little small batch at a time and you can you can narrow it down to the exact add-on. You know, in FSX, that was a lot harder to do because you were dealing with the, you know, the same files for multiple add-ons. Well, you kind of are here too, but that's an, that's another story. You can certainly get where uh, one one add-on can override another add-on and so on and so forth. But it's almost bulletproof because you just remove them. It's very, that's why they tell you that the, the only issue with add-on, the add-on system, is when it's installing. Because it, the game can't tell any difference between add-on packages and default packages while it's installing. I guess. I, I, I don't know. I, I know some of the add-ons, you know, when it's updating is when they're dangerous. Not not necessarily. You can have a working mod that'll bork an, an update, even though before and after the update, it works. You know, so but it can bork the update if it's installed during. Uh, so what are we doing? We're just checking, and here's our NX Cub. We're in it by default. But as you can see, there's our uh, 150 knots, which is obviously it should be 126 default and uh, weight and balance yep there's our 200 and our 50 that's all I actually changed so that's that's it that that shows us that uh, that the add-on files that I created are in fact working so that's it fellas I hope that helps uh, like I said it, it's best not to mess with the official files if you, it, you know and, and this is just a simple quick minimal way to build an add-on these two files will change the game now and i could continue editing these two files and it would continue to affect the game when it loads up so long as there is this add-ons installed and of course if i added files i'd want to rebuild that layout because they have to be in here. This is one of the control files. And if the file ain't in here, it doesn't get loaded. And I used ain't intentionally there. I mean, if, if it ain't in there, it ain't going to work. And same here. This has to be unique. Because it's, otherwise it'll conflict. Uh, and uh, what else? We don't have any other uniqueness. There's a lot of stuff for other, for like liveries. When you throw an aircraft config in here. There's a lot, a lot of other stuff that that you have to change or do, but that I'm not getting into that. So that's basically it. You just uh, recreate the folder of whatever file you're changing. You have a unique uh, title for your mod itself. This, these two files are control files for the mod itself, not the not the actual object or, or content. And that's it. Hope that helps you. Have a wonderful day, everybody.